up, say what's the hold up I got that pack, who got the roll up I'm tryna pull up, it seem like every time I show up It gotta go up, see the drip, they see the What's up guys? I have a shoe addiction. I have a shoe problem and I have been accidentally collecting for a few years now. But no, I've always loved shoes and I always had a pretty expensive taste. You can ask my parents about that and they're like, you better be rich someday. And I was like, I will. I wanted this is 18. Plotting on my daydream. Toss me on a stage until money ain't a thing, but in a safer on its way. Been held down the pavement. I'm just trying to navigate the maze. The way I drip the pages, spit that. These right here. I thrifted these. I'm gonna pick these ones up because I love these and I like just recently got these. Casual, going to get coffee in LA or something like that, running some errands, these are the best. Both right here, These both these Nikes were sent to me. These right here, I'll probably wear these the rest of the video too. These are all time, just like favorite shoes. Yeezy slides, a great neutral color and they just are so comfy, go with everything. These are knockoff Birkenstocks that I got when I was like freshman in high school and they are still surviving. I used to wear these like to games, but you can pan over. I love New Balances. As you can see, I got a pretty cool New Balance 550 collection. These especially are really cool because these are the Ami Leon Dior collab. These are special because these are Ivy Park, which is Beyonce's brand, and she sent me a little PR package. So shout out Queen Beyonce, love you. These are like one of a hundreds. I think there's a hundred of these in the world. They're a bit crazy. Um, they're from Camila Cabello's Cinderella. As some of you guys know, I moved to Utah when I was 15 to play at like a residency soccer academy. We would play soccer, we would go to school, play soccer again, maybe do our homework, play some video games, and then like, yeah, talk about like side hustles and like how we make money because we didn't have like jobs for, or we didn't have time for jobs. And so we did like StockX trading. It's like an online store where people can buy like height beast streetwear type stuff. And we would buy them retail and then we would resell them. So that kind of helped me with my love for shoes. But that being said, I never thought I would be able to get to a point where I'm literally having shoes that I would like dream about keeping. And then we have this right here. These were gonna be like my workout shoes. Runners from a while ago that are up there. Old like Air Maxes that I used to wear. I don't think I've ever touched those, but somehow they're dirty. I work out in these. First ever like New Balances that were sent to me. These are kind of cool. These are just shoes that were gifted to me by the MLB when I went and played in their celebrity MLB game. I went freaking yard. And this is definitely the more dressy side. I like to be very intentional and very like convenient with uh, my organizing of my closet. And shout out Curtis, my friend Curtis. These are Pumas, there's like a, like Kuz Kyle Kuzma did like a collab. LeBron's that I hoop in sometimes. Custom Air Forces that I've never touched. I love these, there's like a cool little Burberry. This was like my first ever gifted sneaker when I started TikTok from Drip Creations. Shout out Drip Creations. Special place in the heart. These are, these are golfing shoes. I love sneakers and I love golfing. When you combine the two, you get these. I used to really, like I used to like really golf. Like I was in like this thing called 500 Club in Arizona and I would golf all the time with like my grandpa, my cousin, my dad, and we would just go and play like, do a little foursome type thing. Hey yo, what the? If you're watching this, that's what it is. It's called in golf. Like when you have a number, you call it, you say some after. Anyways, these have a pretty cool place in my heart because these are from uh, Marco on YouTube. He does like the painting of anything, but he painted these shoes for me and they have dice and he lo and knows that I love sneakers. So he kind of combined the two and got me these and shout out Marco because these are really cool. Prada sneakers, love those. These are both Mason Margiela. These are fun. Coach boots, these are Ami boots, love those. These are, I don't even know the name of these. These three right here were kind of like impulse buys. Like I was just on like gra Grailed is like my best friend. It's like that toxic best friend. It's kind of like an obsession at this point. Grailed is like an online thrift shop for like high-end things. It's it's not it's not good. Dog pound Balm Balmain collab Balmain. Don't come at me. All right, I've I've heard it being pronounced both ways. Balmain, Balmain. These I have not debuted these yet, but I love these. These are my Prada like dress shoes. These are my Alexander McQueen like Chelsea boot, but they're different. Like they're not like heels. They kind of have like, this like cool bottom where it kind of like doesn't dress it down, but it's just different, you know? Cause usually they have like a heel. And then these are literally the same. I wore these to the Balmain uh, show in Paris that I went to, which was really fun, but they're literally the same thing as the dog pound rule without the dog pounds. And then these are Balmain as well. But yeah, you have my YSL white loafers that I love. Jimmy Choo, these are stunning. I love these, very sleek. These are Gucci actually. So these are like my, this is my loafer section. And then this is like higher end sneaker type thing. 
because these are like Dior sneakers, pretty cool. And then you got like the Goyard bag behind it. And then these are, I haven't worn these because I like don't want to wear these. But I did an article with Vogue and I wore Louis Vuitton because they dressed me for it. And I took some shots and they, as like a thank you, they sent me these. And it was like a recycling collab that they did, like literally recycling. Louis Vuitton gifted as well. Thank you guys for these. And then these are Dior sneakers that Dixie got for me actually. Some of those up there, I don't even need to grab those. Those are like kind of fill-ins because they're not like, they don't really match the vibe of those. They're kind of just like Converse. I wonder if someone can go through like in the comments and like count for me. I, I don't, I, the last time I counted, I think I was at like 150. I know. It's, this has literally been less than two years and it's been crazy. Guys, this is an, this is a intervention. This whole video is just like making me realize like I have a problem. These are Dolce & Gabbana. They're kind of crazy. Like it literally says King. Kind of cool. And then these ones, in love with you. Good vibes for my love. These are polo, like a little bit of lifted Chelsea boot. Kind of cool. And then these are, I'm pretty sure these are Ferragamo. Yeah, these are Ferragamo. Kind of cool, little buckle detail. And then these are Christian Louboutin. The red bombs are a bit scuffed. I've worn these. These are also Louis Vuitton Chelsea boots that I'm in love with and I actually kind of forgot to add these. Is there a way for me to like not sound as, like, is there like a question you guys can ask me to like make me not sound as like douchey? I feel such like a douchebag. You can even keep that in. Cause it's like, if I watch this video, I'd be like, man, screw this guy, you know? But partially because I'd be like jealous of like what he's doing. Cause it's like really cool. But at the same time, like it seems like he's like flexing, you know? I am so grateful for all this. And I want to, I can't stress this enough. The fact that like when I first started TikTok, it definitely wasn't like I never saw myself like getting this much into fashion. But I really want to make that clear that this is my job. And this is like I wouldn't just be buying these things just to buy them, especially with this, especially like showing you guys this part of my life. It has been like one of my most requested comments is like do a closet tour, like show us your shoes and that kind of thing. And so here we are. And like part of me being trying to try to be authentic and show you guys and like bring you with me a part of this journey. Without further ado, I say we get on to the holy grails of like my sneaker collection. Moving like I mean to hit the ground running like the rent do speak a little something that you're into. I ain't trying to hear about what you've been through. Like, hold up. These are these shoes that made the cut to be on display. Like these are some of my favorite sneakers. Some of these were even too pricey to do the flipping when I was doing the stock X like flipping. These are were sent recently as a Christmas gift from Vogue. So shout out Vogue for giving me these. These are the foam posits. Love these. Up here, this top row. These right here, Jordan 4 Guavas. There's, there's not much of a story behind it. It's just a great shoe. I just love them. They're colorful, they're fun. And then these right here, I actually have not worn these because they are not out yet. Shout out Nike because they sent me these. They're really cool. If you get like a close-up detail, they're like fuzzy, you know? And they're not, they're just, they're different. And I love them. Jordan 4, Off-White collab. These are Jordan 4 sales. The Travis Scott uh, Fragment collab. Dixie got me these. Shout out Dicks. Last but not least up top, Travis Scott and Jordan Force. And they are kind of crazy. Don't cancel me because I like his shoes. These are special to me in my heart because these are Jordan 1 low division rivals is what they're called. I got these at the Foot Locker in my mall, my local mall back in Arizona, Arrowhead Town Center. These are my first ever Jordans. So that's why they have a special place in my heart. It's kind of started the addiction for me. These right here also have a very special place in my heart because these are the first ever pair of shoes that I purchased when I moved to LA. The first day I moved to LA, I went with Sway and the Sway boys, we went to like Melrose and we went to this like thrift shop and we were just like hanging out, having fun. But there's literally pictures back on my Instagram. If you guys want to go look at those, I was wearing like a metallic shirt, like a Metallica band t-shirt with like khaki cream cargos. And I was wearing different shoes when I went there. And then literally in the photos, I was wearing these because after I bought them, I literally put them on and just put my other shoes in the box just because I love them so much. There's kids in high school that are probably like, I'm not gonna wear these to high school. And it's like, I know you're thinking that, but like you could, honestly, if you wanna be cool. Like I know you're worried about people judging you, but at the end of the day, like do what you want. And like, if you're confident in what you wear, who cares what other people think? So that's my message to you guys. And that's my shoe collection. And while you guys are on my channel, check out my YouTube shorts, I've been posting those and I will continue to post a lot more of those doing some fun, different things. And yeah, I hope you guys all have a great day and I love you guys. Have a good one.